All new air at 6 with the chance of more baseball games getting wiped out at Fenway. Businesses around that ballpark could really start to feel the impact. WBC's Rachel Holt visited some of them today to find out just how much they'll lose with every home game that's erased from the schedule. I'm a little upset because uh, we're losing business. We're going to lose business. All is quiet around Fenway Park. The question is, for how long? The main thing for us is going to be how many home games might we lose. Um, those are going to be our busiest days of the year by far. As the MLB lockout continues, restaurants, bars, and stores near the ballpark try their best to plan ahead. But it's difficult when you compare days like this with the crowds they see during Red Sox home games. The big difference. Game days, we have 40,000 people every day. Now we have a few hundred, thousand, few hundred people. And uh, it's a big difference. You have to buy things much further in advance. You know, we can't just react to, oh, all of a sudden we get a one-week window that we now know their games. Both the MLBPA and MLB launched separate $1 million funds for stadium workers affected by the cancellation of games. Meanwhile, local businesses brace for potential financial impact. Our game days are incredible. Probably about 2,000 people pass through the doors. You have a line of an hour wait. On a non-game day, you get the tours, which are not being used too often right now. Staffing is a major question for Fenway businesses. Here at Cask and Flagon, they tell us on non-game days, they usually have three people working here. On game days, that number increases to 50 employees. We're already short-staffed enough, and people are coming in to apply, but you can't hire if you don't have to work for them. And until they come back, no one's going to have any work. Still, a sense of hope. Uh, the feeling is, I think right now, still optimistic that we are going to get most of a season, if not the entire one. Rachel Holt, WBZ News. Mm.